This is Rose. She was found eating trash on the streets of rural Georgia with her two puppies. Every year, hundreds of thousands of stray animals in the South must be put down. But Rose and hundreds of other lucky strays are spared that fate thanks to the efforts of an organization called Road Trip Home and countless caring humans along the way. In the South, lower spay and neuter rates mean homeless dogs and cats are everywhere. Shelters are overwhelmed. I just don't have the funds to say, and I don't have the space. Over one and a half million unadoptable stray animals are euthanized a year in the States. And so that's part of my job, is having to make those decisions. That's the bad part of my job, the hard part of my job. But here up north, there are far fewer strays. The demand for rescue dogs is endless. They all get adopted within a few days. We wanted to help. So we rented a big empty minivan and drove down to Georgia to help a little rescue organization called Road Trip Home on one of their transport missions. These guys, in their free time, take truckloads of 40 to 60 stray animals on the marathon 20-hour drive up north, where they are guaranteed to find a loving family. We are right now in a gigantic and beautiful minivan, formerly known as the Soccer Mom Mobile. We are turning it into the Puppy Mobile. Off to Georgia to load up some puppies. Our first stop was Sumter, Georgia, where many stray animals begin their journeys home. I mean, the people that work here, they work here for the animals. They're not working here to be rich, because they're, they're never going to be. <laughs> Animal control brings in over 1,200 stray animals a year to the shelter. That's almost four strays a day. He's feral, but he's just as sweet as can be, so. Spaying and neutering is just not as common as it is up north. Puppies just coming in off the streets with animal control. He seems nice. Yeah, he's a very friendly hey, dog. Okay. How'd you get him in the cage? Put some food. He's so he's hungry? He's hungry, yeah. Road Trip Home will be picking up a truckload of animals today for transport to Maine. They have taken up to 30, 35 at a time. So if it wasn't for them, I don't know what we'd do. My euthanasia numbers would be double. We're going to do the marathon 20-hour drive to Maine alongside Road Trip Home's transport van. Rose and her two puppies are coming with us in our minivan. They were just on the street, fending for themselves. Around here? Mm -hmm. In the city, mom. following mom. In the middle of winter. Babies were nice wow. and fat. Yes. Mom was uh, skin and bones because she, everything she had was going to these little kids. Oh my you ready for this <laughs> adventure? <laughs> Seeing those little babies get loaded up and they're looking at me like mama. <laughs> You know, what did you just do to me? Where am I going? I, I, it makes me sad, but yet I think you're gonna have the best life. We'll get in a terrified dog that has never been touched and we walk it on a leash and put it in the van. 800, 800 we saved last year. Outside Atlanta, road trip home volunteers prep the next transport mission. Dogs are coming in from Sumter. They're coming in from foster families that have been taking care of these dogs for the last couple of weeks. They're all going on the van and in our minivan. In the meantime, today, that means last second checkups and prep and all sorts of stuff that's going on. Susie's in here. About 40 dogs are being loaded up into the road trip home van, and another five will come with us in our minivan. We've gotten everything we own into the tiny little corner of this car. We've got three or four right crates bungeed in the back. Whatever is not in our bags, we can assume is gonna get covered in piss and poop. We've got Sugar and Star coming with us, and they are the Tweaker sisters. <laughs> Sugar and Star's over there having yeah. a panic attack, which she's been having for about 48 hours now. You ready to go? You ready to go, Rose? It's a marathon 20-hour road trip through the night with minimal stops allowed, because the idea is to get these animals back into comfort as soon as possible. Uh, you've got paper towels, you've got gloves, Febreze, put them into your air vents, and they're really gonna help you what? what do you think? You think we're ready to go? I think you're ready! I don't have to touch it. Bye! Bye. We are about one minute into the drive. Uh, the vet is right there, and Star has already taken the dump, and it stinks incredibly bad <laughs> already. It's just now she's sitting on it. Oh my god. So what do we do? We like move it now? We've, we're one minute into the trip. <laughs> no! She's looking at poop! Stop! We're gonna get off! Oh god, this is a disaster! <laughs> There's poop! I gotta stop! I gotta go out there! No, 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 no. <laughs> poop on stuff! Poop over it! Stop! What the hell? Oh my god, that sounds in two! This is already a total mess. <laughs> Okay, we got everybody here, and we've begun the marathon journey. Tulip, where are we going? 
So we've got three humans, we've got five dogs. <laughs> Two of them just have not shut up since we pulled out of the parking lot. She was quiet for like 10 seconds and then that was when she pooped and now she's barking again. <laughs> All these dogs, they were rescued from the streets and they're gonna go home to amazing new families that are gonna adopt them and love them and take good care of them. But until then, we've got them. We are gonna love them and take care of them. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, what is, oh. More poop, more poop, oh, so much poop. If we stop every time there's a bad smell, we're gonna be, we're not, we're not, we're never gonna make it to Maine. So we're just dealing with it now. It stinks in this car, which is a rental. You just vomited all over the car. Are you feeling okay? Um, I was distracted, and Violet got to the iPhone charger. Well, I'm happy just that Rose next to me. Her presence She's, is calming. She is such a calming dog. She's gonna make somebody very happy. For 20 hours, Rose and the gang became our travel buddies, and we became a part of their stories, too. Hey, Sugar, what do you think of the North? You're a northern girl now. We've grown pretty attached to these little nuggets and we're gonna leave them forever. We pull up to Kennebunk, Maine, ready to make it rain puppies. This is the cutest cargo load ever, but also the stinkiest and the loudest. Dan and Chet, the road trip home volunteer transport drivers, get to play Santa Claus. He's and we have to turn over our buddies Rose, Tulip, and Violet. Hey, Rose. Yeah. Rose. That was fun, Rose, wasn't it? Welcome to me! Don't No, I don't want to say bye to them. I know. Watch this. <laughs> they'll be checked again by a vet, spayed, and put up for adoption. Jen here is certain they'll be adopted within days. Hey, uh, be good, okay? Pound it. Okay. <laughs> Bye, baby. I'm so happy to be running around. You guys made it! Star and Sugar and the rest of the animals are going to the Animal Refuge. You are Star and Sugar, they're happy to meet you. Hello! These shelters are often called bed and breakfast because just like Star and Sugar, most dogs and cats are out of here within two weeks. All animals are spayed or neutered before heading home. Rose is about to go home. Rose is going to go to her foster home, which uh, hopefully if everything goes well, doctor. they'll keep her. I know it's going to, I just know it's going to go well. There's Rose. Hey, there she Rose. is. Oh. <laughs> Lori and Rose are an instant match. I am so happy. <laughs> I am so happy. So, wow, what a lucky dog. <laughs> and she's got a big fenced in yard to play in and God. beautiful two mile sandy beach. Yeah. She's going to meet her sister. Shelly. Rose, you hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last stop, Rose. I promise you. So, she's home. <laughs> she is home. And I got myself a great friend. <laughs> happy girl, happy girl. Mouthy girl. Huh. Gladly. <laughs> you did. We've been talking about Forever Home since step one, um, down in Sumter. So she just found that. Got to see it, so I mean, I think that's a wrap. Yeah, <laughs> that's a wrap.